hello now welcome you to my channel and in this video i'm going to walk you through the steps that you have to take for you to do the construction of a triangle okay so now this paper was actually written in 2021 this is math paper 2 let's take a ride so the first instruction says construct triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 6 centimeters. So always take the first line to be the best line. So 6 centimeters, that's the one that we're going to pick from the row. So start from zero. Don't start from the end here. Start from zero. You go to where it says 6, and then we conjoin the two points. So that's line AB. So we can indicate here that this is A and that's point B. Then we read on so that we know what is expected of us. So they're saying BC, so AB is 6 centimeters, then BC is equal to 6 centimeters, 9 centimeters rather. So we need to pick 9 centimeters from the row. Plant a pair of compasses on zero, then extend it to nine. Okay, so I've picked nine centimeters. So now the saying BC is equal to nine centimeters. So it's that the line is starting from point B, which is, it extends to C. So how do you do that? It's just it's not just a matter of you drawing lines. Plant the pair of compasses on B and then strike an arc okay so i will, I will strike a faint arc beautiful so i'm done with that one we read on to see what what else is expected of us but it's what else are they saying? So they're saying SC is equal to five centimeters. Let me pick five centimeters. We plant the pair of compasses on zero, then extend it to five centimeters. So five centimeters is here. Okay, here we go. So SC is equal to 5 centimeters. Plant the pair of compasses on A. Then strike another arc. Okay, so the meeting point, that is where C will be. Okay, so after having done this, we can actually connect the vertices by drawing lines. So this one here is line BC. Make sure that as you draw this line, it's touching the vertices. You will have to touch C at a point where the two arcs are actually meeting. So that's line BC. Okay, so now we connect A to C. Okay, so we now have the triangle ABC. Okay, so now since we have the triangle, we can read on to see what is expected of us. What else is expected of us? So they're saying measure and write the size of angle ABC, this one here. ABC. So what they need us to do is to determine the angle B. So we have to get the, the protractor, the protractor, and then plant it where B is. I make sure that the baseline is actually aligned with this line on the protractor. This one here. 
Okay, so now when you are measuring the angle on B, when you put the protractor on your right, you have to make sure that you make use of the upper scale. So yes, we are we are picking the reading from here 0, 10, 20. So that's 30 degrees. So this angle here. is 30 degrees 30 degrees that's freedom it's just a matter of you doing what you have been asked to do that's what construction is all about so now they're saying within the triangle abc draw the locus of points which are equidistant from a and c those are two points and we are drawing a line which is equal in distance from point a and point C. Now, how do you do that? Point A is here. Point C is there. So now, how do you draw a line which is equal in distance from A and C? So that is a line bisector. So what you do is you plant your pair of compasses here, extend it beyond the approximated half. So half of this line could be here. So I've extended the pair of compasses beyond half. Then I strike an arc. The arc should be faint, even an arc this side. Then I shift the pair of compasses, plant it on C, strike an arc, strike an arc there. But remember, whatever you draw has to be drawn within the triangle. Okay, we can actually, yeah. Then we read on so that we see what we are expected to do. Then say draw the locus of points which are three centimeters from A. So this is a circle, three centimeters from A. We pick three centimeters on the wall. Three centimeters is here. After picking three centimeters, we go to a point where there is A, so that's point A. So point A is here. We plant the pair of compasses there, then we strike an arc. We draw the circle. But we won't finish it in that anything we are constructing is expected to be constructed within the triangle all right so let's read on what is number three saying they're saying the locus of points should be equidistant from ac and bc take note of the common point here so the common point is c the common vertex is c so that's the one we are going to bisect so we go to our our drawing we plant the pair of compasses on C and then open the pair of compasses to any dimension. Strike an arc. Okay, so after striking an arc, you shift your pair of compasses, plant it on one point where the arc is touching the side of the triangle. Strike one arc, shift the pair of compasses, plant it on the other end strike another arc the point where the two arcs are meeting that's where the line will pass from the vertex c here we go so i draw the line now from c through the intersection pointer to the other side of the triangle okay we can now check if there is anything else that is expected of us to do. Okay, so here we are done. Let's now read on C. Seeing a point P within triangle ABC such that it is less than or equal to 3 centimeters. Which one is less than or equal to 3 centimeters? Okay, the one which is equal to from S, from A. It's this one. Uh -huh. 
less less than or equal to three centimeters so that point will be within this region okay <clears throat> then they're saying that nearer to bc than ac where is bc nearer to bc than ac nearer to bc than ac and closer to a than to c closer to a than b c nearer to okay can actually read through these ones more so saying a point p within the triangle is such that it is less than or equal to three centimeters it's within this region and nearer to bc nearer to bc than uh, ac and then closer to a closer to a than c closer to a than c so the point is this one here Now, as I indicate clearly, by shading the region in which P must lie. So, this is the region and we are indicating P there. So, that's how you do it. I will actually roll out another video within the day. So, make sure that after watching this, you hit subscribe and then turn on the notification bell. So, that the moment I will roll out the next video, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and share the video.